want to get on top of your savings, you're in the right place. This is the Big Issues Guide to how to reach your financial goals in 2022. Hi, I'm Ellie, the founder of This Girl Talks Money, a financial education platform designed to help you make sense of your money. And I'm Tara, co-founder of Best Intentions, which is a company that is set up to help everybody prioritise their financial well-being and get everybody talking openly about their money. In this video, we're going to talk to you about how you can finally make this year the year you stop saying you're going to do something and make the financial resolutions that you've got for 2022 stick. So, Tara, life is getting more expensive by the week at the moment, and it feels a little bit like mission impossible to spend less, especially if you've got a busy lifestyle and a family to look after. Are there any quick wins for how we can spend less money? Don't go to any shops. No, I'm joking. I'm kind of sick of people saying that you've got to cut out all of the fun stuff and you've got to live a boring life if you want to save money, because that's just not true. It's about getting intentional with your money because ultimately we want to spend money on the things that really matter to us when it comes to simple ways and you know quick wins to spend less we have got a few suggestions one a subscription cleanse ask yourself am i really using that app Re- reading that newspaper um subscription and you know unsubscribe to the things that you think maybe i'm not getting as much value from that as i as i thought it would you can always resubscribe later the second thing is meal prepping we're all guilty of wasting money on food just because we've either forgotten to take our lunch in and have to go to press but also if you're coming home from work and you just think oh i fancy a spag bowl tonight you get all of the ingredients for that and then the leftover ingredients sit in the fridge go off and we have to throw them away we waste so much money that way and so meal prepping can be a really quick easy and cost effective way of getting healthy food every single day and the final quick win um i'd say is just remember some of the things that we did during lockdown um particularly when socializing and i'm not saying zoom quizzes let's hope they never have to come back again but go for walks, meet up outside, take advantage of, you know, the nice sunny days that we occasionally have as we move into spring. We don't have to spend lots of money to have fun with the people that we like. We can actually just enjoy spending time with them for free, out and about, doing things that don't cost a huge amount of money. Saving money can feel like a huge amount of effort, especially if you're not a high earner and you're struggling to find extra bits of cash to save. How can someone looking to build a savings habit begin? Where can they start? Don't try and overachieve with what you're hoping to save. You can't cut your spending in half overnight. It's just not possible. So pick a small achievable savings goal. Allow yourself to be able to achieve that week on week, month on month, and you'll feel good because you you hit it. And maybe sometimes you might exceed it, And then you can give yourself a pat on the back. And that positive reinforcement is exactly what we need to build these habits. But there are also ways that you can just take the stress and the hassle out of your financial planning. And one really, really key way to do that is to set a direct debit up at the start of every month, pay yourself first, get it out of your account and don't look at it. You're far more likely to succeed. The theory all sounds easy, but why is it sometimes so difficult to put these theories into practice? You've got to understand what kind of person you are, what's driving you, what's motivating you to do stuff. For example, if all you've ever wanted to do is take a year out and go travelling, you're probably not going to be motivated to save money each month if it's for a house and a mortgage that's going to you know, tie you to one place for, for a long time. And so understanding that, what your goals are, what you're trying to achieve with your life, before you start setting money goals and and trying to achieve those will definitely be really important. Habits also take three months to embed. They're quite complex and everybody kind of responds to habits in slightly different ways. But one really important thing to do is not just have a long-term goal without any interim steps. If you can set interim milestones that make you feel good about working and taking small steps towards those bigger goals, you're going to stick with it for longer. But the other thing I would say, which is so important, is don't let other people impact what you're trying to achieve. Don't be afraid to say, I can't afford that. Don't be afraid to say, no, that isn't a priority for me. You fixate on the thing that's important to you and try your best to cut out the rest of the noise. 
So we've talked about how we can start to save money and we can build better habits to help us to get towards our financial goals. But is there anywhere that we can go to learn a little bit more? At Best Intentions, we have designed a money Kickstarter course that gives you a really simple intro into the basics of taking control of your money. And importantly, to give you a little booster at the end, help you find a thousand pounds you never knew you had. It's an online course, so you can do it at home whenever you want. And each module is broken up into tiny bite-sized videos, which means that you can take something away, one little lesson about money over a cup of tea in the morning, at your lunch break, on the loo if you like, you fit it in around your day. Each of those two minutes has a really important lesson so you can take something away from each one and build yourself up towards that thousand pound target that we know you can have. Who is Counts to 1K designed for? Everyone, uh, literally. No, to be more specific, if you are someone who has ever asked, where does all my money go? You know, then this course is for you. If we're ready to get started, where can we find out more? Well, this is really simple because The Big Issue have partnered with us at Best Intentions to offer you the Couch to 1K course absolutely free for a limited time only. So head to the website, the link is there, it'll take you straight through to the portal and you can start going through this course that will allow you to take control of your money, build lifelong good money habits and improve your financial well-being forever.